Talk to me about your situation. Because of the new fulfillment fees, uh, they decided to switch from FBA to FBM. How bad did it hurt sales? Very, very bad. 25% at least. Yes, I have a client, a big client, and they sell uh, bassinets, uh, travel, yards, stuff like that. Talk to me about your situation. Because of the new fulfillment fees, uh, they decided to switch from FBA to FBM. How bad did it hurt sales? Very, very bad. 25% at least uh weekly basis did we warn them that switching from fba to fbm would hurt sales yep. and we, yep. we got oh, that in right we got that in writing right no no problem with that yeah yeah no they're they're super happy uh with everything that we're we've been doing i've been uh, helping them in this transition did we run a margin analysis on the the hit for going fbm versus fba uh no i would recommend that so let, let's let's say they're right they're probably right right like it's probably cheaper to ship fbm but I think a running a margin analysis to see the cost difference. So go look at like 10 shipments, log the costs, and then compare that to the FBA fees, run an estimation, and then times that by all of the products. And then side by side, show the 25% sales reduction and say, hey, is 3% or 5% margin worth the 25% sales cut? Yes or no? And see what they say. Right. And be like, hey, we're biased. We got a revenue share with you. We, we want you to have higher sales, to be clear. But we want to make sure you are comfortable with this business decision. We believe sales are more important than your margin. Remember that margin analysis? Yeah. All of their margin just went out the window it, for going FBM. And you need to press upon their minds and say, hey, the amount of work and costs to take care of this problem is, is larger than just going FBA and you get the 25% in sales. So I would recommend pushing back here uh, on this problem and tell them that because 99.5% of our clients are FBA, we don't have a great recommendation for you on how to deal with refunds and returns because it's not the, it's, it's the wrong business direction. Mm, definitely. Perfect. And the other way, yeah, I was trying to get them to um, premium shipping or uh, seller fulfill a prime. And there goes uh, all, of, all their margin again. Yeah, but they insist that they want to go FBM. Ask them the question why five times until they get pissed off. Okay, You're not <laughs> yeah. doing your job until you piss them off on this particular issue. Okay. Yeah, totally and, agree. Um, and, you, and you can even say like, hey, guys, do I, have, do I have your permission to pick up on a touchy subject? And they'll say yes. Be like, great. I'm a little nervous to do this. My, my, my boss, Stephen Pope, and I met about your account, and he's very uncomfortable with the current direction of the account. And here's the things that we found. Give them all the stats first. All the stats. Set the inherency up. And then hit them with the cutthroat. And Stephen believes you guys need to go back to FBA because of those reasons. And he said... Uh, he said to me, if that I don't get a yes from you, I have to ask you guys why five times. So here's the first, can I get a yes? And if they say no, say, cool, here's the first why. Please tell me why. Totally, yeah. They, they also have a logistic issue that they cannot deliver, they cannot ship on during the weekends. So for 3% margin, they're causing a 20% loss in productivity. 25% loss in sales. Now you guys are trying to solve new problems, which are not solvable, by the way. Right. And, and think about the distraction. Instead of you talking to them about updating their main image or improving their, their ads, you're spending time on bogus logistics that shouldn't be even a topic. Yeah, perfect. I'll finish that study so I can present it to them. And yeah, definitely. I mean, we were selling $3 million per month. We're in 2.5. So it's a 500000 Oh, my God. Oh, decision. my God. Yeah. Yeah, like, and we uh, have like, to solve this. Yeah.